Maintain that kindness and energy when you're meeting hundreds and hundreds of people a day and grabbing alpacas left and right. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, there's, it's very easy. And I'm gonna let you, this is how upfront I am with you guys, right? And how I love what I do. I, I'm lucky that, like I said, that little boy, I, every day I go to work, I, I cherish what I do, and I adore it, and I work very hard at what I do. My job, I love it. You've given me that job. You have made, I was saying in the green room to some of the other people, you know, because I, I know people are short with you, and I know people are jerks to you sometimes, right? And, I, and I'm a fanboy, you know. I, I watch the shows myself, so when I meet people, I'm literally, like I said, I'm, I'm gushing inside. I know how you feel, and I say it honestly. I have a nice car because of you. I have a lovely house because of you. No, I'm, I'm being blunt. You have changed my life. So why would I be a dickhead to you? Why? It's totally Now, however, if you're a jerk to me, I'll be a jerk right back to you. Right? It's 50-50. So I, part of the reason I don't want to be treated that way, so I don't treat other people that way. It's a give and take relationship. And it's about appreciation. That's what it boils down to. And, I, you know, as much as I, I don't, I don't want to go on too much about it because it sounds like I'm being overzealous about it, but I do. I love my fans. I just do. You, that's, that's the bottom line. That's why I behave the way I behave, and that's why I treat, you know, fans and everything like I do. So I hope that's a, the right answer. Thank you. Well, You've been such a huge inspiration to me as a gay man. Um, I'm also, I grew up with a really conservative family that was really into show tunes. Really? <laughs> it's are you, weird. Are you sure you didn't have another gay in the house? <laughs> what we like to call a show queen closeted gay. I think sometimes, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. But you've just been a huge inspiration to me, and then when you landed on Doctor Who, I was like, oh my god, he's in everything I love. Um, and, you know, you <laughs> I've done that before where I haven't checked it. I've said, how old are you? And they go, 15. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, yeah, so well, anyway, go ahead. Um, and uh, you, you've really been a huge inspiration to me, uh, you know, for my growing career in the theater and film industry here. And I'd really love it if you would sing with me. Aww. Are you good? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> what, what do you want to sing? All I ask of you. Oh, jeez. I can I, take I, I listen, Hold on a second. I'm the boy. <laughs> Except on a full moon Friday, then I can play. Come up. And I can't prepare. Then you better pick a good key, because the last person I sang with picked the wrong key. I am a bass. So You're a bass? Yeah, well, I'm low. I'll go figure it out. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> it doesn't always work. <laughs> okay, you, you brought the words? I brought the words. Good. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> I'm, are you, you going to start? Is it big enough? <laughs> No more talk of darkness, forget these wide-eyed fears. I'm here, nothing can harm you, my words will warm and calm you. Let me be your freedom, let daylight dry your tears. I'm here, with you, beside you, to guard you and to guide you. 
Lovely. 